everybody, welcome to TFT Tarot for today. Divine Dabblings with Oberon and me, Banshee. It's me, Banshee, for my Material Matters segment. It's your weekly keys to success in business, education, and finance. Welcome to the show. Wow, what a crazy week. <laughs> Not necessarily economically either. All kinds of stuff going on. I wonder how the world markets are going to be affected this week by the almost coup that wasn't in Russia. So we'll just have to see what's happening. Lots of other things going on, but not so much financial. Well, I'm using the Sacred Creators Oracle again today. That deck is by Chris Ann. Okay. It's a card for the collective. Hmm. Wow. Looks like the death card, which is really interesting synchronicity because our card for today for the collective uh, tarot card for the day is death reversed. So it's really interesting to me. Okay. Success in transformation. At least this is kind of upright. <laughs> upright reading. Number 13. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh -oh. <coughs> Excuse me. Losing my voice. Alrighty. A major phase in your life is coming to a close, and a new beginning is coming into view. This natural cycle of death and birth will bring positive closure to a long-awaited cycle of completion. These endings are inevitable, and we must allow them to happen naturally. Radically reframe any imperfections or unsuccessful attempts that have led to this. It's okay to make mistakes along the way or accept them as invaluable lessons that have shown you how to become more resilient and more accurate with each successive try. Lean in with a growth mindset. Yep, another freaking growth opportunity and begin to identify which ingredients were missing. Then get ready to make some superstar upgrades because continuous self-improvement is key to this transformation. One evolution leads to another, leads to another, leads to another. <laughs> um, that's my own addition there. We are never done learning about who we are, nor about who we are becoming. And because of this, it is never too late to start. You're not too late to make it. Let go of old ideas and old ways of being and be reborn into an extraordinary new opportunity. So some questions to ask yourself are, what is ending and what is beginning? How can you honor these two states of transition? Do you tend to rejoice in the new or lament the past? Every great success story includes moments of rejection and mistakes. Before that wildly incredible step was taken, have you transformed and transformed again in order to be ready for your big moment? How are you welcoming continuous improvement in your life? And what one thing can you do differently that would be a dramatic improvement over last time? You know, I was never a fan of the word continuous improvement. <laughs> Not that I don't want to improve, but it just seems like, gosh, do we have to keep improving? Don't we change without having to constantly go higher? I mean, aren't there lateral changes? Change is necessary for growth, though, one way or another, no matter how you slice it. And so don't deny the changes that need to happen, you know. Let them in. Let them happen. You'll be better off for it. More than likely, you know, you will benefit by it. You know, once you succeed in closing a cycle, begin anew. That's what I have for the collective today. Good luck with that. All right, let's take a look at our astrological outlook for the week ahead. 
Oh, thank you, Mr. Producer. We want to move that card. <laughs> we want to change the scene because we're all about change. Okay. So this reading is good for the week of June 25th through July 1st. The moon will be going from Virgo Libra, uh, Virgo into Libra on the 25th through uh, to Sagittarius on the new month, July 1st. Mercury is entering Cancer on June 26th. And Neptune, uh-oh, is going retrograde on June 30th. And happy Canada Day to our Canadian friends. That will be on July 1st. All right. What say we get going with the readings for the elemental signs of the zodiac, starting with our air signs? Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius, this reading's for you for the week ahead. Maybe there'll be some changes afoot. Well, your focus for the week ahead, air signs, is the Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is reversed. Sorry to say, um, air signs, that this week starts off with a little bit of an uncooperative atmosphere in the workplace or with your advisors, with your peers, uh, it just seems as though not everybody is on the same page, either, uh, I won't say that they're doing their own thing, but it just seems hard pulling, you know, the right mindset together. Everybody wants, maybe has different ambitions and goals in mind, rather than the goal, you know, the goal for the greater whole. So that's some focus this week is how to pull everybody back together, how to get everybody on the same page, but more importantly, how to get everybody to be working for, you know, the good of all and not just the good of one, you know, them. All right. Now, best can you prepare for that focus? Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles is reversed. You've got two reversed Pentacle cards, air signs. Not liking that too much, you know. Um, it seems as though the best way to prepare for that focus is to try to get people to, uh, you know, maybe the problem is it's not so much that they're not working together or they're working for themselves. Maybe it's that they're not working at all, you know. <laughs> maybe there's just their kind of slack this week, and maybe it's hard to get people motivated. Uh, there's a sense of just wanting to take it easy, take it lazy. Lazy days of summer and all, I guess. So well, there's another pentacle card. Thank goodness this one is upright. Well, what about people this week? Will there be cooperation or conflict? You got the two of pentacles upright. Well, it kind of flies in the face of what I said here in a way, or it's just saying that maybe there are some people out there who are striving for balance, trying to get everything, you know, in equilibrium. You know, maybe they're trying to find their flow with the work and they're having some, you know, ups and downs with that. It's tenuous, but maybe they will help pull things together. Is this Pentacle Palooza or what? I jinxed it. <laughs> Will there be forward or backward movement or no movement at all for the air signs? It's Pentacle Palooza. It's the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is reversed. And yes, this deck was shuffled and scattered and all that good stuff. So how does this happen? I think your focus is on your finances more than anything, maybe, or bringing in money or having to do with the ebb and flow of money issues. And, you know, right here, it's saying that, you know, ultimately by weeks on, 
you know, because things maybe haven't been managed well. Maybe it was just too difficult to get everybody to, you know, progress and be productive this week that the money's just not coming in. Maybe more is going out than actually coming in. Well, let's look at this again, air signs, and see if we can put it all together. So right here, the Three of Pentacles is reversed, and it's indicating people are not, you know, focusing on the main goals, the more important goals. Uh, they may be slacking a bit. Maybe their workmanship is a little shoddy. I think that could also be represented by this card here. And, you know, how best to prepare for that focus? Yes, you have to figure out, determine what's wrong here, because it's clear that something's wrong with production, you know, something's wrong with getting the products out. Something like, for example, even if you're in a restaurant, you're handing out food. Are people waiting too long for their food? Are, you know, have you had to say, no, this dish isn't available tonight because supplies weren't, no, supplies weren't ordered? Something is wrong. And so you're going to have to figure out what it is and uh, try to get everybody working together on this. And others want to find balance. They want to restore balance. They want to be a part of the solution here. But, you know, they are a little bit stressed. They have a lot going on. And clearly, maybe they need a little support in, you know, managing and making sure they are able to manage this workload properly. Ultimately, because of all of this, I feel that, you know, this is going to be a slow slog this week. Not a lot of financial gain is going to happen. There may be some loss. There may be, in fact, some bad news, you know, when we see the page of medicals there as well in this reading. So you just got to ride this one out, air signs, not looking the best. Good luck with that. And you know, for you job seekers out there, um, don't sell yourself short, I would say that. You may be ending up, uh, you know, with a job that's paying you less than you're really worth. Um... And maybe people aren't appreciating your talents, which might also be indica indicated by some of these cards in this reading. So good luck, whatever you're into this week, air signs. And hey, fire signs, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, this reading is for you and me for the week ahead. Well, 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 fire signs, your focus for the week ahead is the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> uh, kind of one of my favorite cards in the tarot, one of them. You know, the wheel spins, the wheel spins, spins, spins. And sometimes you're on the upside, sometimes you're on the downside. Right now, things are looking pretty good, fire signs. Maybe, you know, karma, luck, synchronicity is on your side. You know, you, you get... Uh, you uh, find, uh, you know, you start looking for a job and one just pops out at you and it just seems like this is the one, you know, like everything is going to be falling into place, uh, whether you're job seeking, whether you're trying to bring in more money and revenue, whether you're trying to get loans or agreements. Hey, this is the time where things are on the upswing and it's almost as if fate and destiny are working in your favor. So take advantage for your signs. How best can you prepare for that focus? <laughs> is the Two of Cups, the Two of Cups is reversed. Maybe I ought to rename this position, how best or not. <laughs> yeah, you know, uh, can you prepare for this focus? You know, uh, maybe this is saying, fire signs, that it's time to let go of either employees, partnerships, uh, you know, business ventures, Whatever it is that's truly not working for you anymore. It seems as though, you know, um, people are not people are not clicking. They're not on the same page. Maybe they've grown apart. 
you know, so uh, maybe they have different ideas now of where things should be heading, and you can't seem to reach compromise or agreement. So it's time to move on. That's the best way to prepare for this focus is let go of those people or situations or things in your life that, you know, um, you need to part ways with. And you may have been very, very tight at one time, you know, but, and parting is such sweet sorrow. Whoa, what about people this week? Will there be cooperation or conflict? Some people may not want you to part with them. As a matter of fact, they could be downright hostile about it. <laughs> this is the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is upright. Oh, my goodness. So, in other words, watch your back this week, fire signs. You know, watch your back, especially if you're in competitive areas, competitive uh, businesses, etc. You know, competition might uh, pull a fast one on you. Be careful that somebody else, advisors or, you know, people that manage money, uh, maybe your bosses even, don't pull a fast one on you and stab you in the back. Was there a reason? for example, they wanted you to hurry up and uh, clear off your desk and clear your area of all your work, you know, backlogs of stuff that have been sitting there that they didn't care about for a long time, only because maybe they wanted to lay you off. Wow, now that's a backstab. That's just an example. So I'm just saying, you know, be aware, you know, that something might be happening behind the scenes here it is not too good. Maybe somebody a little bit jealous of your, you know, luck and your fateful moves here. Ha! Ah, so whether be forward or backward movement or no movement at all for the fire signs. It's the Six of Swords reversed. There's no movement. <laughs> uh, you're kind of stuck, you know, or you seem to be backpedaling, you know, for some reason here. Maybe, and I think we're going to have to wrap it up and put it all together, but, you know, when you look at after that wonderful wheel of fortune saying, oh, fate is on your side, everything else seems to be going kaplooey here. So we're going to have to examine this all together, I think. All right, fire signs. So the Wheel of Fortune is upright. Your focus for the week ahead is how to capitalize on, you know, is this the right time? Is the timing right for you to do something, you know, to, to bring something to fruition, to manifest something, to get, obtain something that you need or desire, to get something off the ground? It seems as though fate is working with you. But it appears beyond that that there are a lot of obstacles you have to wind your way through here. Uh, for example, there's certain people or situations or things that you are just going to need to say goodbye to. You know, they may have been important in your life at some times. You may have loved to work with them or work, you know, work with it. But now it's time to move on. And, you know, it could also be because maybe... I'm not sure, but maybe the situation or people are the cause of, you know, some bitterness. Uh, somebody who takes uh, a swipe at you. Uh, it could also be that you're leaving something behind because maybe it's no longer working for you anymore. Um, what used to be something that was really good and pleasurable or bringing in, you know, the bacon is now causing you pain and uh, financial pain and loss and um so it almost feels like a betrayal and ultimately you know it just seems like this week is at a standstill where you're kind of backpedaling a little bit maybe you should try maybe you know the wheel is all about change and changing cycles and here you are you're standing there and you want to change the cycle back you want to go back and I think you're looking for safety because of what you're going through this week. You know, sometimes there's no safety in going back. There's, it, it would be better to move into the unknown terrain because the known knowns can be pretty bad sometimes. Oh, my goodness, fire signs. Looks like a tough week ahead for you as well. Well, good luck with that. All right, my friends, water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Sweetings for you for the week ahead. And we are in Cancer season right now. Oh, 
I need more. And then I must get some water. My throat is dry. All right. And you buy. <clears throat> okay, hey, water signs. Oh, how nice is that? Your focus for the week ahead is the high priestess upright. Boy, we started with a couple of good, you know, last two readings, major arcana cards here. Let's hope this continues this time, water signs. Um, you know, you seem to be in tune. You seem to be in sync with all the forces, you know, that are, you know, you're facing in the material world in the week ahead. It seems as though uh, your intuition is on target. You know, you seem to know where to move your money, what's the best deals to go for, uh, you know, what's the best property to uh, acquire. Uh, it just seems as though you're very, very in tune and you just instinctually know what you have to do this week. How best can you prepare for that focus? It's a seven of wands upright. Best way to prepare for that focus in my mind is to stay on top of things, you know. Make sure you don't let anything overwhelm you. You know, just keep above it all. And, um, you know, it's so much better when you have everything under your control rather than all these little things that are vying for your attention. So just tend to things as they come and maintain the higher ground, you know. And also, when you're negotiating with others this week in particular, make Make sure, you know, you stand your ground and get what you, you know, feel you deserve or that, you know, that you want out of these deals. <clears throat> what about people this week? Will there be cooperation or conflict? Well, remember what I said here about staying above and also making sure that you're getting what you want? You know, don't... Uh, don't allow others to try to pull a fast one on you because here we have the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So the Knight of Pentacles reversed here might be saying that there may be people out there who, you know, could deplete you of your resources, um, who could also maybe make you pay more for something than you had hoped, uh, you know, uh, maybe want to have you take a loan at a higher interest rate, etc. So just be wary, you know, of people and their motivation. And also, this is saying to me, too, that some of the people that you're working with this week, they may need a little extra push to get them moving. Uh, it seems like, or, you know, your advisors, people you're trying to connect with, it might be rather hard this week because everybody's, well, we're kind of going like they're in slow motion. <laughs> So ultimately, will there be forward or backward or movement this week or no movement at all for the water signs? Got the six pentacles. Six pentacles is upright. Well, and I won't I don't look at this as exactly like a sign of karma, but what I do think this is saying is, you know, you're gonna get exactly out of this week what you put into it. So, you know, what you give, you're going to get. It's gonna be a very even exchange this week. Uh, you know, and we'll go over this again. Really, this does look more positive than not. There could actually be some gain this week because you know, if you're putting out your best. You're bound to get more back in return. So let's take a look here. You've got the High Priestess upright. You seem to know you're in sync with the flow of what you need to do this week. You know, it's almost as if you know, uh, you know, for example, too, if you're if you're interviewing for a job, you may know exactly what the employer wants to hear. And you tell them because it's your gut telling you to do so. Trust your gut this week, uh, water signs. And also water signs, make sure you stay on top of things. It's really important in this case to have the upper higher ground, particularly if you're negotiating financial transactions or deals, property deals, etc. You know, make sure, you know, your interests are on top here. Others around you, you know, it's going to be tough. 
It's going to be a little bit tough getting them moving, getting them motivated, but also just getting answers from them. You know, it's as if everybody's working in slow motion this week. Hey, they don't call it the lazy days of summer for nothing. And finally, um, I think that a lot is going to fall on you this week. If you keep yourself above ground, if you listen to your gut, if you're able to kind of get the, you know, keep pushing to get the answers and people to do things for you that you need getting done, it seems as though you're going to work be okay by week on. It's going to at least come out even Steven, and you might even end up a little bit ahead of the game. So, good luck with that, Water Signs. Well, well, we've made it to the Earth signs. Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn, this reading is for you for the week ahead. Well, hey, your focus through the week ahead, Earth signs. Are you ready? Are you ready to take that leap of faith you need to take? Are you ready to dive into something new? A new adventure, a new goal, a new dream, a new project, a new job, uh, you know, uh, maybe even a new career path. I think this is, you know, something bigger, uh, maybe along the lines like that, because, uh, you know, maybe this is talking about you've always wished you could do something, you know, but here you are in another type of uh, employment on another career path. It's never too late. You know, it's never too late to pursue your dreams. And this one is saying, why not? Why not take that leap of faith? Why not go for that job you think you're not qualified for, but you really, really would love? Why not just try to do it, you know? Why not try to step into a leadership position, you know? You never thought you could handle that. Why not give those presentations that, you know, you were afraid to do in the past? Hey, it's time to step out of your comfort zone and explore and try a new adventure. Rest assured, the universe will have your back. And here you go. How best to prepare for that focus, uh, Earth Signs? It's the Eight of Swords reversed. The West best way to prepare for a focus like this is to try you know is to trust yourself you have what it takes to remove those swords of self-doubt remove those things that make you feel you can't that you can't step outside your comfort zone and take that leap of faith it's the best way to prepare for that focus what about people this week will there be cooperation or conflict well you know so Knight of Swords, Knight of Swords is reversed. Well, people this week might not be all in on too much of a risk, you know. They may feel it's a bad decision. Um, and you know what? It may also be in some cases, not all cases, but in some cases, hey, you might go for that job. You might try to apply for something. You might try to get a certain loan or financial backing from somewhere. And somebody says no, you know. So you're going to have to try to sell people as best you can on your ideas and what you want to do and see if you can't bring them along. But they seem to be holding kind of a rigid line here. Ultimately, will there be forward or backward movement or no movement at all for you? Earth signs. Well, it's nine of wands. Nine of wands is upright. Well, the good news is you're not giving up on your dreams or goals. The bad news is you're preparing for a fight. <laughs> In a sense. In other words, you know, if you really want it, if you really want to pursue this, and maybe you're getting some no's for an answer here from other people, 
you have to be able to stand up and fight for it, you know? You make sure you have all your arguments, all your justifications, all of your tools, all, all the skills that you want to show people that you have in place so that you can prove to them that this is the right thing to do, that you are the right one for the job, for example. Uh, that's what you're going to have to do. Let's take a look at this again. It's time to get out of your comfort zone, take a leap of faith, and explore something maybe new. Maybe it is something that you've always wanted to explore. Maybe it's totally out of the blue, and you're just looking for a major change. This is a time to go for it. And it's a good time to go for it because you are releasing yourself from a lot of self-doubts. You feel more liberated now. You seem to feel like you can do anything, that obstacles and barriers that maybe were in front of you were pretty minuscule after all. So you're ready, but are others ready? <laughs> you know, are others willing to help? Are others um, maybe being reckless too, you know, in the way they want to help you pursue the goals and dreams? I almost feel here though that they're towing a hard line on this and, you know, they may be actually a stumbling block. This is like you're going to have to really, really stand your ground sell your ideas, explain why, you know, you can, you should be able to get that loan or that financial backing, how you will be able to profit and make sure you pay it back, you know, with interest, whatever the case may be, why you are the best person for that job, why even though you didn't work in this field before, this is the right thing for you and you have the necessary skills, stand up and fight for yourself or sign a sense, what you got to do. Good luck with that. Well, you know, it's not a terrible reading for the year of signs. I will say that. But I guess I'm going to give the slight edge to the water signs this week. I think the water signs have won the week. So just barely, just barely. <laughs> so and it's going to be kind of a lackluster week. Hang in there, everybody. Um... It is summer, and, you know, some businesses do well in the summer, some do not. Schools are, you know, not in session, and, um, you know, it's a different kind of atmosphere for those of us who are, of course, in the summer months. Some part of the world is not. All right, I want to remind everybody to watch Mr. O's Goth Tarot every Wednesday morning. <laughs> Whoops. Every Wednesday morning at 8 a.m. <laughs> Eastern Standard Time where you can check in with your shadow. And then on Fridays, he's got his emotional exchanges, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Who doesn't want to know about love and relationships in our lives? Our social lives are just as important as our material ones, maybe even more so. All right, and happy hour will be on Saturday next week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, where we will do our darndest to give you the happiest message we can from spirit to see you through your week ahead. And then, of course, on Mondays is our wonderful show, our video presentation, Your Weird Week, where we try to look at political and social issues and see what's going on in this weird world of ours. That usually comes out at 9 uh, a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Did I miss anything, Mr. Producer? Oh, is it? No, it's not next Sunday. So we will be having some shows coming soon, and I believe sometime in July we will be doing another Witching Hours show. Am I right? So stay tuned for news about that. If you are a night owl, the show is for you. <laughs> All right, everybody. Take care. Hope you have a great week ahead, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.